Hi Capricorn and welcome to your September reading. I hope you're all doing well. So today's reading, like I said, is for September. So we're going to look into what's coming in for you, the experiences you might have to deal with, ways in which you can overcome those experiences or those feelings. Um, you know the drill. <laughs> okay, so September, what's in store? Okay, so uh, first of all, I've been asking for a colour that may help you in the month somehow, that may help you attract certain things, that may help you overcome certain things. So I've done that for Virgo and Taurus and now I'm going to do it for you as well. You got blue, this happened to Taurus, but they got yellows instead, but obviously the colour for you is definitely blue. So different shades of blue would be really beneficial if you can wear blue, if you can surround yourself with blue objects, blue colours, blue anything, blue candles, you know, whatever feels right to you. Try and use a bit of blue this month, it might just help you um, in, in, at certain moments throughout the month. So just a bit of insight there. Okay, so first of all, I feel like your confidence isn't where it normally is at. That's my first instinct here. We've got the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords is an anxiety-ridden card. You know, it's anxious thoughts, it's worry, it's overthinking. It's it's not being very kind to yourself as well. It's almost like that inner voice, you know, that's shouting at you and, and just talking about all your flaws and pointing out all your mistakes, but not paying any attention to all the good within you and all the good that you do. And so I feel like... There is some anxiety this month, particularly when it comes to the relationship with yourself. I feel though you've dealt with some heartbreak, some difficulty, you could have been through a bit of a storm, a bit of a battle. Um, it could be past events, it doesn't have to be something that happened recently, although it obviously can be. It can be something that's cropping back up for you, old hurt, old pain. Um, could have been triggered within you, which has almost decreased or is decreasing your confidence. Now, I feel like th this is the card that's standing out for me when it comes to your reading today. Love where you are. So this is this would explain this Three of Swords because, like I said, the Three of Swords can be an old hurt, an old pain. So some of you may be focusing on an old hurt, an old betrayal, an old pain that you've been through, but it isn't describing where you are now. It isn't something that's happening to you now, but it's something that you've been through before. And so the love where you are in that situation, to me, would be saying... You're not in that place anymore, therefore you don't need to focus on it. You can focus on where you are today, on what you have today, on what is bringing you joy today, as opposed to things in the past that took that away from you. I also, though, it says appreciate current circumstances. So I feel like a mistake you could make this month is by focusing on what you don't have too much. It's good to be goal oriented, it's good to have ambition, it's good to know what you want to change in your life. All of those things are positive. But if we're focused too much on all the things that we don't have. So let's say you have a great job and you know your material world is all set and you have a great family but your romantic life isn't doing very well. Or your romantic life is great and you've got good friends, but the job front isn't going very well, you know? I think we can all probably point to something in our lives at this time, and usually at any given time, at any point in our lives, that we wish would improve a little bit, you know, or we wish was doing better. But the problem is, is that if your mindset is fixated on that, it's missing out all on all the good and all the things that we are grateful for and all the things that we used to want. You know, I, I keep seeing those quotes on social media that I, I think are great. And I think, you know, it's something that we all need to be doing better. But it's almost like 
you know, it, I can't remember. I'm really bad at remembering quotes and things, but it, <laughs> bear with me. But it's basically saying that, you know, remember that what you have now is what you used to want and what you used to long for. So is there something in your life that you have today that you used to, you know, be crying about not having, that you used to be working really hard to make happen for yourself, that you do actually have now? So to not forget those things, to not forget the things that you have gained in your life, that you used to feel the way that you do about something else now. So it's perspective that needs shifting, I think, this month. It's perspective and it's it's dealing with some past baggage, definitely. It's dealing with some pain and some experience that really left a mark on you that has for almost forced you to communicate with yourself in a way that's not healthy. Um, and that's what needs your attention. Because we have this Ace of Pentacles here, which is a really lovely card for you. Because I, yeah, I can kind of, I feel like you either have something now that may be relatively new to your life that you didn't have before. But because of what you've lost in the past, you're struggling to really appreciate it and take it in and really enjoy the experience. Because you're focused on what you either had to sacrifice to get there or what left your life as a result of having this new experience. So it feels like a very, very much a cross between the past and the present. And if you've not quite got this Ace of Pentacles yet, then it's going to arrive in your life very soon, but you're being asked to really put the past to rest so that you can embrace all that this new opportunity has to offer you. Because we have discouraged. Now Virgo got this as well. This feeling of being discouraged. Dispirited, disheartened, deterred. You may feel like something's just not going your way. You may feel like you're just not quite getting to where you want to be. Or you're not quite, you know, you're not quite manifesting what you're trying to manifest. And that could be discouraging you. It could be, you know, really disheartening for you. It is when you put so much hard work into something, into making it happen in your life and then it's not happening and it can knock you off your bike, right? It can knock you down and it can be, it's that resilience of needing to get yourself back up. I feel like don't be afraid this month to ask for a helping hand. Don't be afraid this month to talk to people that love you, that support you, that are around you and tell them how you're feeling, tell them what's going on, tell them how you you might have been struggling, really allow that help into your life because you know we can't, there's a reason why we're here with other people, you know, A, life would be very dull and boring without having other people to enjoy it with but it's not just for that, it's also because we're here to help each other, we're here to encourage each other, we're here to support each other. You have the people in your life that you have for those reasons, you know, and vice versa, we can help them too. But I think sometimes, especially for the majority of people, it's harder to accept help from other people than it is to give it. So put yourself in a receptive energy, in a receptive place to accept help, but also Put yourself in a receptive energy to welcome in new opportunities. Because again, if the past is something that's holding you back, you may have actually like closed off um, some new opportunities for yourself by focusing on the past and focusing on what has been and gone. So it says, ask yourself why you want what you want and see the beauty in it all. So again... Have you done that? I think that's a question that not a lot of people ask themselves <clears throat> when they're wanting a certain experience in their life. A lot of us don't sit down and think, hmm, why do I want this? We ask ourselves, what do I want? And where do I want it? And who do I want it with? You know, we ask ourselves all those kind of questions, but we never really ask, why do I want this? Why is it so important to me? And I think the answers can be quite telling 
of what your intentions are, of where where that need for what it is that you want comes from. So don't be afraid to ask yourself that question. I think it be it be in light it would be enlightening for you and it would give you a lot of clarity over your motives and over where that drive to have what it is that you want is coming from. The only other thing I will say as well is try not to get into the energy of the grass is greener on the other side. It's it's rubbish, you know. The grass is honestly greener where you water it because Every new experience that we have comes with its own set of challenges and problems and issues. So, you know, it's that going for the shiny new penny syndrome. (laughs) Just created a new syndrome. It's that feeling of something looks new and bright and shiny and problem free. But as we know, nothing really is problem free. Nothing really is without its own challenges. And so it's very important to make sure that we're not getting led by that need for new, need for something else that we don't have than what we currently have. See the beauty in it all. So yeah, definitely even see the beauty in the struggle. And that's the hardest thing to do. I don't think any of us have fully mastered that yet. But try, try, because there will be something that you're gaining from these energies and these experiences that will benefit you later on. So, like I said, you've been getting a lot of blues here and it says build your confidence. So yeah, your confidence has been knocked by experiences that you've had that caused you pain and you're being asked to really work on that through, I said this to someone else as well, I think I said it to Virgo. So you you and Virgo have quite a strong connection this month. Um, affirmations, focus on affirmations this month, use affirmations, particularly ones about self-worth, build yourself up, say kind, make an active, you know, take an active role in saying nice things to yourself and encouraging yourself and building your confidence, compliment yourself every day, you know, these are small things, things that you can do in seconds that can really change your whole mentality and your whole way of viewing yourself and what you're capable of. And I think it would really turn things around for you. It also says regenerate your body. And that came from Sapphire. So again, when we're stressed, when we're not feeling at our best, we tend to feel a bit more tired and we lose a lot more energy, which is why the mind and the body need to work together you know and they need to both be in a good place in order for us to function in a healthy way so really make sure that you're taking care of your body and your mind this month in order to you know see the change that you're trying to create for yourself now your advice is badger spirit and it says be fearless and bold so yeah I feel like there is a need for you to take a few chances on new things in your life. Now, that might sound like a contradiction because it really, I feel like the thing is it depends on what this is referring to for you. For some of you, you've dealt with something in the past that has gone, it's out of your life and, you know, it it was a, it's an old pain, like a residual, there's residual pain from something that you've been through in the past. And if that's you, if that's something that you're dealing with, it's something that you're already, you've already moved away from, it's no longer in your life, you're no no longer dealing with that situation or circumstance, then this is about you inviting something new into your life so that you can continue to experience what life has to offer you. And you might just need a bit of confidence and to take a few risks in order to get that to happen. But you may have been holding yourself back because you've experienced a few disappointments. Okay, so four. So this is definitely foundational month for you, building a new, stronger foundation for yourself, whether that's your relationship with yourself, whether that's a new job, career path, a new relationship. There's a foundation that's starting to be built here. Badger Spirit rejoices at your persistence and commitment to what is true for you. Whatever you seek, your tenacity and faith in in your partnership with spirit is paying off and the results will soon 
come into form in your world. The gift of Badger Spirit is the surety that taking a risk now and being courageous, fearless and bold will yield wondrous results. This is a time to harness your will and apply it consistently to the pursuit of your dreams. Know that no matter what the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and in the form that spirit deems best for you. Badger Spirit says you have what it takes to get what you want, so assert yourself. Be fearless and be bold, shining your light as your purpose calls you into the world. New relationships are also given a green light now. Don't be afraid to make the first move. Badger Spirit loves your brave and mighty heart. Yeah, so this is definitely a time for you to take a few chances and take a few risks and not let your past hold you back. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, but I really hope that was helpful. I hope you all have a great month and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.